Bonjour. Good morning, students. So we are going to go again with the grammar of lesson number seven. So we are going to follow the grammar of lesson number seven. So what we saw in the last class? We saw the preposition a and the. So a means to or in. Okay, it belongs to or we are going to or coming. We are living in a place. Okay. So next we are going to see this also the from. Okay. So we if we are going from a place or we are belonging from a place. Okay. So we saw two exercise lesson exercise number one and two. So we are going to see the remaining exercise of the grammar of lesson number seven. So we are going to open your book page number sixty two. You have exercise number three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I give you only exercise number one and two already. So we are going to do together exercise number three, four, four. I have written wrote on the board. Okay. We are going to do four and eight. I am going to explain you and you are going to do on your own. Okay. So for exercise number three. So here I have written one, two, three, four. Okay. So you have rearrange the sentence F or no. So F or no means rearrange the sentence. So you have to know the meaning of each word to rearrange and frame a sentence. Okay. So A. A means you are going to take your pencil with you. So take your pencil and write the meaning in English on the given sentence. Okay. A means to Monsieur Moscou. So Monsieur Moscou, it's a name. Okay, Monsieur Moscou. Le grand, Monsieur Le grand, Monsieur Moscou, Le grand. So it's followed. Okay, so these are two names. A, A is is. Okay, so Monsieur Le grand. Okay, so you have. Monsieur, okay, so Monsieur, so M is Mister, okay, it is understood as Mister. So Mister Le Grand is in Moscow. Moscow is a place, okay, name of a place, okay. So what is the order? Monsieur Le Grand A A Moscow. So what is the meaning? Mr. Lebrun is in Moscow. Okay, so you are going to frame the sentence. So how we are going to write? Mr. Lebrun. Okay, so we are going to cancel this slash. A A Moscow. Okay, so this is the right. the sentence mess or not okay so let like this you are going to write the answer so how will you write like this with the arrow mark otherwise you can write below the question okay write the question answer next you give a line for the next question okay so we are going to see this also who who so do you know the meaning of who with accent And who with a person? So who this is? Where? So this is the preposition. Okay, where? And this is or in English or this or that. Okay, so this both are different. So who with a person is? And those are places. Preposition of places. Where? Who with a person is? Or. Okay, so here it is the meaning of or. So or, abite, abite means you live. Or means in. Or from. O Canada, O or from. So you have a slash here. O means in. From. Who you Canada? Okay, so what will be the sentence? Or in live in France, New Canada. So can you guess the sentence? Yes, you can guess the question here. Who habitez en France ou au Canada? Okay, so you live in France or. in canada okay so i 
or we can say to climb, but we are not going to climb, we are going to get down. Okay, so here it is Agraya plus sand. Okay, plus sand. So next one, they. Avec they of with the Ale to go. Ale means to go. Here we have Sasche. Sasche means to sit. Okay, to sit. So this is Passe to go through. So we saw, okay, to go through. You can write to go through. This is beautiful. Go means beautiful. This is to speak. Okay, to speak or to talk. Okay, so like this you are going to write the English meaning. So we are going to see the first the French meaning, then I will explain you in English. Okay, so that you can easily write the correct verb. And if you have the verbs, so what we are going to do? We are going to conjugate these verbs. Okay, we are not going to write as it is. Okay, so we are going to conjugate. So, Marie dash our knees and dash le and listen carefully dash Paris Paris and dash le bagage dans le train et dash le voyage est prêt dash and dash avec dash voyageur a and dash from the dash village. Okay, so you are going to read, I am going to read you this in English and you are going to find out the correct word. Mari, so Mari dash to knees. Mari dash to knees. She dash the train. She dash the train. Dash Paris. She dash the suitcase. She dash the suitcase in the train and dash the travel. Le voyage means the travel is very dash. She dash with dash. Travelers, okay, those who are traveling. Passengers, you can say, okay, so the passengers and she dash in duty. Sorry, I give the answer. So in the dash village, okay. So what you can say, Mami Anis, Mami. So you are going to find out the answer. I give you the meaning of this. Isn't it? So, they. Okay? So, with them. They means, it's an article, unified article. Okay? So, here, if I am telling the answer in English, you are going to find out. Okay? So, they. With, article and activity. Okay? With, voyager. Because voyager is plural. So, when we are going to put they, you can see. Okay? So, I am not going to take you the answer. So, I give you the English. For this, from what we are going to do, so we are going to write a present tense from and the verb monte monte means mount in present tense and the verb ale. So what is ale? Va. And the other one saswa. So what is the verb saswa? It's a pronominal verb. So the verb saswa we are going to say sasi. Okay, sustain. Okay, so you are going to write the verb in present tense. Okay, so this one you are going to write as it is with that family using farm. Okay, so this verb you are not going to conjugate, you are going to write pass. Okay, so I give you six verbs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six verbs to conjugate and the remaining you are going to write as it is. 
Okay. So you are going to see the meaning in English that I have explained you. You are going to write the correct verb in present tense and fill up this passage. Okay. So you are going to do this as an assignment. So next exercise you can see exercise number seven in your book. Okay. So we already saw the meaning of a, a, o, o, or, u. Okay. So or this is or. B, B, U and B, S. Okay. So, come, but get T. So, I'm going to explain you the question. I'm going to write the correct preposition. Come, but get T. That makes it. No, but no, Japon. Last seven question. So, when, come is when. When they return. That makes it. We return that Japan last week. Okay. Next one. Content. Content. So content is a name. Content is a new project. So content is as a new project. That Portugal. He come back that Russia. Okay, so you are going to write the correct preposition in or to and here it is from. Okay, so may pass lengthy figure. Sorry, lengthy figure A dash Bobo. The professor, lengthy figure means the professor or the school teacher. Okay, lengthy figure A dash Bobo. Bobo is a country name. Okay, Bobo dash Fons. May Papa Fons voyage. So my parents think to travel. So my parents think to travel that Indonesia when they come back that Australia. Okay, so you are going to write. And what we have to do, we are going to whether the country names are masculine or feminine and if some are started with verbal ok so you are going to see that we saw the tabular column so you are going to refer that tabular column of your book we saw in the last grammar video isn't it so I will explain you the full grammar of this lesson yes so you are going to take your book Page 61, okay, 61, and we are going to see all the that we have to put each and every preposition, okay. So, next one, on peut voir la chute du Niagara. So, we can see the falls, Niagara falls, dash United States and dash Canada. Okay, so you are going to place the correct preposition. Okay, so for this you are going to see whether the noun, the country names are masculine, feminine, plural or started with the verbal. Okay, so for that you are going to see the tablet column of this lesson for the grammar. Okay, from the grammar and this is over for you at the eighth one. You can see you have to choose the right answer. Eight exercise. Choose the right preposition. Okay, they have given you options. Okay, so you are going to choose the right preposition for this exercise and write the correct preposition. So this is over for your afternoon portion. Okay, so you are going to have soon your afternoon exam. So you are going to see your portion. You are going to have your portion. And study the well all the exercise, revise the grammar and do the given assignment. Merci, thank you.